Welcome to Celerity Technology. Today we're going to see whether or not the uh, top of the line motherboard from the Z370 family, such as the Gaming 7, can take on the heat and the, and the high core counts of a 9900K when we overclock it. Um, the Z370 board is fairly well known for having a very good VRM. It has 60 amp power stages, um, 8 of them, and 8 phases. 8 plus 2 phases, but it's also unfortunately known as having a um, suboptimal um, uh, cooling. This is when you have issues with um, f form over function. Um, so I decided to try to give it a try on overclocking, and you know, thought it'd be a great experiment. Not many other people are doing this, so um, I pulled up, you know, good old Prime 95 and tried running some AVX um, small workload and Within one minute, my VRMs were cooking at 100 degrees Celsius, so I immediately kicked it off, killed it. I did not want to see how high it would go. Um, granted, VRMs, um, the MOSFETs, can take quite a bit more heat than your CPU, but I didn't want to try that. So, unfortunately, um, their Gigabyte cooling solution did not work for me. It's a pretty poor design. It's just basically kind of like a block of aluminum shaped in a Y with a... Um, heat pipe that's mounted, you know, far above the the surface area of where the heat sink mounts to the board. Um, also, furthermore, it has very little surface area. The heat sink actually has shrouds that cover up some of the fins, so it really doesn't make that whole lot of sense. Um, they also did add a fan in the back um, of the shroud, as you can see, like 20 or 30 millimeter, by 20 millimeter, I don't know. Um, and it kicks off about eight or ninety degrees um, and that seemed to help maybe a little bit I mean granted my, the way I set up my system it wasn't super great for um, airflow as I'm running a dual 360 millimeter radiator um, cooling both the um, CPU and GPU unfortunately this did not really you know go so well uh, so I tried I started doing a little more research I saw a lot of people now use um, real bench so I tried that and it was a lot better as far as you know it, I didn't see the temp spike up that quickly but you know over a course of 15 minutes I'm looking you know in the the uh, mid 90s another you know 30 minutes you know I'm in the high 90s so I mean like it was still you know close to 100 C and you know I just that still wasn't I still wasn't too comfortable, but um, luckily um, I found a solution, and as you can see, this was not a part of it, and neither was this. This actually couldn't fit. So the solution actually involved things that I never thought I would use um, when it came to overclocking. Um, it involved a hole punch, a hacksaw, a hammer, and also a drill. Again, these are things that you wouldn't usually think about using, um, but my solution actually revolved around this water cool um, old Z77, I think, um, saber tooth um, uh, motherboard uh, cooling kit. It came with two VRM uh, water cooling blocks and also a um, and also this um, little block for the chipset, which I didn't use. Actually, I have another plan for this. I'll do that at some other time, but I got this for 20 bucks, and at the time of the shooting, there's like three left on frozen CPU. If you want to pick up this, if you want to try something similar, I mean, 20 bucks for, for you know, three copper blocks. I thought it was a damn good deal. So, anyway, um, this this was, I think, made for the Sabertooth, which is an Asus uh, motherboard, and um, a really old one, and I wanted to see if it would fit on the board so I kind of li lined everything up and it looked like that everything would fit so um, I started um, tinkering with it with the VRM off and I you know lined it I kind of dry mounted it and it looked like it was fine so what I did is I used the old heat sink to help me kind of position where I needed to put new mounting holes because the mounting holes didn't line up I mean the block itself was able to cover up all the VRMs, but unfortunately um, the mounting holes, I think, actually was able to use one of the previous uh, mounting holes and that was already drilled into the um, into the blocks, um, so I still had it to, to, to drill 
um, three more. So first I kind of measured it as best as I could to try to position, you know, where exactly I should mount everything, um, double, triple, quadruple checked. And then um, when I eventually decided where I was going to put it, I used a hole punch to kind of mark and give me a little divot to, um, I decided to drill a hole. I found a drill bit that would fit into it and I went with that one. So if you want to drill it, do it, that's the way you can. Um, so then of course, hacksaw. It was, the block itself was a little bit too wide. The mount, the mounting plate was a little bit too wide. So I had to cut that off. Then I filed everything down as best as I could. Then um, remounted everything and put it into my system and it worked. So uh, the first run of real bench, um, I'm looking at like 60 to 50 uh, C below what my previous temperature was. I mean, I dropped from like almost 100 C to 40 C. So it was just really impressive to see, you know, how quickly um, and how good of a solution this actually ended up being. I mean, I didn't have that heat. Granted, I added it to my loop, but I mean, it. Um, things went smoothly. Uh, after that, I um, started playing with um, overclocking a bit more with it, and I kind of felt comfortable with uh, running it at uh, 5 gigahertz, no AVX offset. Um, I had um, 1.29 uh, volts going through it, a four hour um, real bench run uh, was perfect. I tried uh, 1.285, and you know, uh, it was mostly stable, but every now and then it would throw an error in real bench. I don't know if I'm going to put it under a full load um, for Prime 95 AVX. It seems like a lot of people are moving away from that. And yeah, that was kind of my whole experience in general. I mean, it was kind of a fun little uh, test. Not many other people do it, but I mean, um, I guess my general conclusion is um, if you have a Z370 high-end motherboard like the Gaming 7, there's no way in hell you're going to want to run this CPU as stock. I mean, the... Uh, the new Asus Master has um, 12 phases with 40 amp power stages. This has 8 phases with 60 amp power stages. They both technically, VMs are technically both rated for the same amperage, um, but you know, it can dissipate the heat better with these additional phases and it has a much better cooling system. So, I mean, I'd highly suggest a Master over a board like this, um, even though that technically the power stages on this are. Are better and more efficient it's just there's 50 percent less of them i mean the lower end motherboards i've i saw some other people trying to like you know overclock their extreme 4 on a 9700k and they're hitting vrm throttling at 85c so i mean again you know maybe with the exception of the 8600k i really don't see many motherboards or like really any of the z370 motherboards um being able to handle the 9700 or 9900k that well. I mean, it's really pushing it to the limits. Um, uh, there, are, I mean, there's one Asus board that does have the um, the VRM water block right on that. So maybe you, know, you could say by you know stock that can do it. Um, there's also I think the Godlike, which has a crazy amount of um, like 16 phases or something, or um, for the Z370. I mean, I don't know what cooling is like, but um, That'd be something interesting to find out, but you know, stock, this can't do it. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to run it. I'd rather just upgrade the motherboard. Um, but if you want to spend 20 bucks and a little bit of time and elbow grease, you too can have a, a really cool running VRM. And my wife's laundry is done right now. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I wanted to kind of run this as a little experiment. Um, well, expensive experiment, but um, I got my answer. Yes, I can with modifications. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to put out more content like this and try to find a little niche where you know I can do something that's you know kind of creative and unique. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, have a wonderful evening.